Within the Nash foil range, we have three kite-specific front wings, the uh, 650, the 810, and the 960. The 960 is basically a, a good beginner wing. It has a very gradual takeoff speed. It's not gonna porpoise on you, so you can sort of gain speed and take off. And then it kind of hits a speed wall compared to the others. You're not gonna get going so fast that you get out of control. It's also really easy to maneuver. So great entry level uh, kite wing. Going to the 810, which is much faster, uh, great wave riding wing, good all around wing, into the 650, which is just a smaller, faster version of the 810. But within foiling now, what we're seeing is a lot of crossover. For example, wing foiling, the 810 is a great front wing. A lot of our other wings, both within the jet and the HA range, also make really good kite wings. So you have to really look at what you want to do in terms of your riding. But all around, for example, this 810 is a fantastic recreational, all around free ride kite foil setup. Although all of the front wings still fit the same scarf joint connection with our new fuselage so that you can use and mix and match any front wing from any season from any sport, the new mass to fuselage connection is a monolithic dual M8 system. So a nice tight fit with two bomber M8 screws securing it. Tail wing connection is still the same with three holes so you can adjust your rear wing fore and aft. So if you want a more drivey, tracky setup, you put it in the back position. If you want it looser and more surfy, turny at lower speeds, you put your rear stabilizer in the front position. For the mast, we've got our new aluminum mast, which is a new extrusion again with this monolithic screws going right into the mast. So new section, really strong, really stiff, bomber setup utilizing our plate mounting system. We also have a carbon 35, which is a monolithic connection, 35% carbon composite mast. And we have a 100% carbon mast. Again, same fuselage connection, monolithic base plate. So three price points, stiffer, slightly softer, better price point, slightly different foil sections between the two composite masts and the aluminum mast. The aluminum mast is trackier, drivier. The foil sections on the composite masts are smaller, a little bit looser, a little bit slipperier at higher speeds, but uh, not as stable and predictable as the aluminum mast.